A nice win for St. Albert and a big night for Brendan Monahan. How does uh, how do you and the team feel about this victory? Oh, we're feeling great about it. First victory of the year, so I'm just gonna build on this, think about it for the next day, and then just get ready for the next week. Pretty impressive the contributions you're able to make, offense, defense, special teams. Uh, kind of describe you know your skill set and the the various things you're able to do. Where do you feel maybe most comfortable at, and what are you kind of enjoying getting to? getting to do this year um this game i really enjoyed splitting out a wide receiver and at tail I, I feel really comfortable but just the amount we're able to spread it out with our other guys it's it's just really opening it up for all aspects of our offense yeah who are some of those guys that are kind of emerging and allowing you to be used in in some other ways this year yeah some of our special guys or skill guys we have owen marshall at our quarterback and then Sam Goobles, Luke Wagengale, John Helton at our skills, and then our line, just all those guys up there just just putting it together every game. It was a really back-and-forth game. Uh, nobody ever really had much of a real big lead, but uh, kind of describe the momentum swings in the game and how you guys were able to stay the course. Yeah, it was huge. We were struggling. We were struggling a little bit the first half, but we just had to calm down at halftime and just go back to our to our keys, and, yeah, I think that made the difference. What are some of the goals this group has after, you know, by St. Albert standards, probably a down year last year. How uh, motivated does that make you here for this season? Uh, super motivated. Motivated every game. We're just going into it like it's our last, thinking about last year, but also not dwelling on it. So every game, we're just focusing on making the playoffs this year. So 1-0 in the district is a pretty good start. The defense had to make a lot of big plays throughout the night and uh, got it, you know, down to the eight-yard line before they <laughs> ended up uh, running out of time. And, you guys break up a pass play at the end. What were some of the keys defensively against Riverside? Yeah, big keys were our secondary, which is also going to come to play next week against Underwood. But our secondary and then our backers. Our line's been playing good all year, but our secondary and backers, we just really need to lock up and just focus up every play. That's that's what makes a difference. Who are some of the guys that helped pave the way for you up front, gave you some running lanes tonight? Kale Hobbs has been there all day. Our fullback, Tony Bush, he's been there. And then... Jaden Beckman, Sawyer Sheffield, a freshman, and just Gavin Summer. A lot of guys, a lot of guys just putting in the work. Do you feel like your team still has a lot of um, ground to gain, too, as you kind of get more comfortable with everybody working together throughout the season? Yes, sir. I think this compared to last year, we're just feeling a lot more in unison as a team. And I don't know. We're, we're looking good for the next weeks, I think. All right. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it.